find our militant hero in the middle of a rescue mission for a hostage situation, he decides to take matters into his own hands and jumps out of a plane and people are all like, was he wearing a parachute? Nope. Then the super soldier and or police officer starts killing all of the bad guys with horrible aim. After passing all of the weaker villains, he gets to the main terrorist. Loving a challenge, he drops his weapon and starts hand to hand combating the bad guy. All the action that I just described takes place within the first five minutes of the film, but this film isn't your grandpa's action movie. It has emotion, story, and all that subjective stuff. Stories about these two old acquaintances from the past who get cryogenically frozen. Imagine a righteous dude went all MIA for like three or more decades. When he's brought back to present day, his morals are going to suck and seem outdated. New school stuff like auto driving are going to seem really foreign to him. Plus, he'll have a hard time engaging in sexual activity as the rules and guidelines surrounding premarital sex are different nowadays. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Luckily, people close to the man out of time enlighten him on nostalgia to get him caught up on pop culture. Unlike regular sci-fi movies, this has somewhat of a spy thriller type vibe, so you get a lot of that corruption storyline you're not really used to seeing in this genre. There's this old guy evil dude. Old guy evil dude has to answer to his superiors via futuristic HD smart TVs. Naturally, he wants a little bit more responsibility, power, etc. And he has aspirations to rule society. He recruits the other guy that was cryogenically frozen. Cryogenically frozen guy number two kills a lot of people in this movie, but you can't blame him entirely seeing how he's being brainwashed by the old guy I just told you about. In order to stop old guy and frozen guy number two, frozen guy number one enlists the help of this hot chick with a cute bob hairstyle. Hero guy also meets a token soul brother former pilot guy, and he's cool too, I guess. They start explaining to the hero guy, look, the world is different now. It's not 1996 and or 1942 anymore. By TW, the goal of the main law enforcement in the film is to neutralize crime by assessing penalties before or during a criminal activity. This whole idea becomes too much for a guy from the past to deal with. One of the dudes from the past gets homesick and visits a museum that reminds him of how it used to be back in the day. The two people from the past score off, but barely because the bad guy is able to get away before anything major happens. The bad guy breaks into his master's house. He starts questioning his master about the other guy that just almost beat him up. Then the master tells him, just forget it. It's really not that serious. Just kill anything that gets in your way. The good guys are fully aware of movie cliches and suspect the old man of being a bad guy. They confront him, but he flips the script and issues a warrant out for the hero boy's arrest, causing him to go underground for a little bit. Back to the action. In this one scene I forgot to mention, there's this car chase on a freeway. I can't confirm, but I feel like the director is trying to make a satirical message of the issues in black America today. Black dude's minding his own business driving on the freeway. Then a white dude jumps on the roof of his vehicle. Steering wheel disappears. Doors fly off of the black guy's car. And the black guy stopping, dropping, and rolling in the middle of oncoming traffic. Hashtag Black Lives Matter. In the third act, the girl is kicking butt, but she gets electrocuted and goes unconscious for most of the end. Don't worry, the hero boy puts on his old uniform as they have less than an hour to stop the bad guy's plans. Both of the guys from the past duke it out one on one. The good guys win and the corruption in law enforcement is slowed down when positive individuals fill out W-2s to revamp the organization. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos.